So we're doing a little follow-up to the Biden coercion video because we had a couple comments that I felt needed to be addressed more than just the limited text that you can put in a comment. So this first one here is discussing the fact that uh, claiming that Biden didn't cut production, it's actually higher than it's ever been. And also commented on the fact that the Keystone pipeline was still in production when he canceled it. So the typical liberal argument that it really had no effect. So number one, let's start with the Keystone Pipeline. You had tens of thousands of jobs that were lost by cutting the production of the Keystone Pipeline. You also had future jobs that were cut by that. But all the liberals like to gloss over the fact that with a stroke of his pen, Biden not only canceled the Keystone Pipeline, but he canceled any new production in federal waters for drilling offshores, there was a lot of offshore drilling that he canceled. A lot of current active stuff offshores was getting canceled with the stroke of his pen. Y'all don't want to talk about that. Y'all don't hear about that shit because where you get your news from has selective information. That's number one. Now, as far as the second part or the, the first part, but my second point goes about production actually being up under Biden. This, I know you're probably new to my channel, but this is something that I've discussed on multiple occasions, more than once. The fact that production is up is a 1,000, 100,000, 1 million percent, a fallacy. It is bullshit that is passed along by the liberal media, flat out. Because all you have to do is just quick two second Google search and you go to the EIA, which is, you know, the go-to place for information on U.S. energy usage. And you'll find out that if you look at the stats and the data, if you compare Trump's last two years in office and Biden's first two and a half years, you will see they all float between 10 and 13,000 barrels per day of new oil. So if you look at the statistics, you will see that you are 1000% incorrect and you have been fed bullshit and you are spreading incorrect information. There are spans of months where drilling under Trump slaughtered, slaughtered drilling under Biden, just absolutely dog walked them. So there's that. Then we want to touch on the fact that Biden has authorized the release of 180 million more barrels from our reserves to combat gas prices for a problem that he has helped create because we had no problems when the mean tweet guy was in charge. And he's now authorizing after that 180 million, another 10 million barrels. Oh, and by the way, did I mention that our reserve is at 450 million barrels? And I know that sounds like a lot, but it does. it's not because we consume a shit ton per day, like hundreds of millions per day. Lowest. Lowest reserve total since 1984. Then we have ridiculous nonsense like this. So you were referring to, first and foremost, you were referring to my, my comment that um, about the quid pro quo and the fact that Trump was asking. It's a phone call where Trump simply asked about Biden interfering in the election. Meanwhile, your guy, your guy threatened a country that they better not cut oil production. They better not, or else. Your guy that you said, oh, God forbid he try to help people, he don't give a shit about people. You missed the entire thing. All you heard was, Biden, I think Biden's a bad guy because he's cutting oil. He's yelling at them for cutting oil production. No, 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 no. He's not yelling at them for cutting oil production. He's yelling at them and telling them that they better wait until after November. Not, don't do it. Wait until after November. And what, they want it. End of November is when he wants them to wait to cut it. What happens in November that end of November would give them just enough time to finish and try to, you know, squeak through. Oh, the midterms. He don't give a shit about you and his constituents and all the American people. He cares about getting gas prices low enough for y'all to continue to be gullible enough to vote for his dumbass. 
And then as soon as the midterms are over, he has no problem with them spiking gas prices again and cutting oil. Why? Because either he's he's going, they're going to lose and it's going to be on the Republicans at that point, or they're going to win and it's already locked in and you guys are screwed anyway. And he doesn't care. You're a fool. You're a fool if you think this man gives two shits about you. 